Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Nancy. This is my first video ever that I'm gonna be doing. I actually posted a video on my Instagram, just me pretty much doing my makeup, just like a full on face. I don't normally do that on a daily basis. It's just, I just don't have the time. I don't think anyone does. <laughs> but when I do, I like to, you know, put a little bit more effort into my makeup. Um, makeup is something that I just, I love. I love being able to try different products. It really is, it feels like therapy for me. I, I love it. And just, you know, the process of finding stuff and then trying it out. It's just, it's something fun that I like to do. So this channel is pretty much gonna be, you know, everything like with my makeup and just trying out different products. And here today for my first video, I figured why not show you what products I love and go from there. If I have combination skin very very oily um, but then at the same time I can be super dry it's it's nuts I actually went a couple months where like right here was super 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 dry no matter what I did it just you know even if I didn't put any makeup on and I just moisturize you know wash my face moisturize everything nothing I even tried this one oil it was helping a little bit but it wasn't doing the job like it should and I think it was just my skin I don't know it just wasn't reacting right to it so I actually ended up using uh, this other product and it was very very helpful it was very good and I still to this day I have not touched anything else so that will be for another video for more skincare this is just makeup pretty much everything that I put on my face today so here goes Right, so obviously I have to moisturize my face. Everyone does. Um, that's one of the most important parts is prepping your skin and making sure that you have a good base to start with. I do believe in priming. So I have actually been going back and forth with these two. Obviously baby skin is much cheaper than the benefit. I really, I like them both. Um, what I have noticed is with the baby skin, I, it is, I feel like it tends to get me a little bit more oily, but the purpose of it is also to you know help with the pores and with your foundation to make it last longer and I really do like what it does so I love this I will still use it the benefit one is amazing oh my gosh I love this one and I feel like it does everything that the baby skin one does for like my, my foundation but it does mattify me as well because no matter what time of the year it is I will get oily that's like without a doubt and this definitely helps because it does mattify my, my um my skin so I really do love that one sorry I went to close my laundry door because it was kind of making noise and I think because of like the air conditioning that's on it's just yeah whoops <laughs> once I'm done with priming I actually have started this new trick that one of my friends had shown me um we both have really oily skin so what helps me before I put my foundation on, this right here. I absolutely love, love, love the Fit Me um, Loose Finishing Powder. It's been amazing for me and I am so, it's so hard to find my color. I never, I'm so indecisive. I'm always like, maybe it's this one, maybe it's that one. I just, I can never make up my mind. But um, I am in the color Medium Deep 30. You can even wear it without, you know, any other foundation on. You, if you just prime your skin and put that on, it still looks really good. That I would do it for like a light coverage day. I have actually been loving the Superstay foundation. I am in the color 312. Uh, it's Golden Door. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> um, this was another foundation that one of my other best friends has shown me. I saw a lot of reviews comparing it to the Huda Beauty foundation. And I haven't tried it. I've been wanting to try it because, it, like, I love Huda Beauty. I, I, I follow her on everything. And I think she's such an amazing um, blogger. And now she has her, you know, her business with everything. You know, she's beautiful. Sorry for the mess back there. I did not do my bed. So, yeah. This isn't, like, a product, but it's, like, what I use um, for the foundation. My Morphe sponge. I just love the shape of it and you can really especially when you're doing your blending in your concealer using the one of the flat sides like that is I feel like it gets it you know really in there so I really like that sponge and they sell it at Ulta it's like 
I don't know, like seven bucks. It's it's not bad at all. I go back and forth with that one and the Real Technique sponge. Uh, da, 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 da. Concealer. Damn it. I can't believe I forgot my concealer. So basically, um, I should have talked about this. I'm actually in my room right now where I have all my makeup. My makeup section is by where like my living area is and like my TV and my couch and everything. It's just more space and I felt like in my room, I don't know, it was just getting way too crowded, but scooch over. Okay, am I in the center? I keep looking this way and I wanna like look at that way to look at you, so I'm sorry. I'm really, really new at this. Ah, okay, okay. Um, back to concealer. I should have cleaned this a little bit better. I just used it, oops. See, I'm doing it again. Ugh. Two favorite ones, um, I actually, these two, right here. Um, the Tarte Shape Tape. I am in the color medium. Don't look at my nails either. They look like crap. <laughs> this obviously is a more high-end one. I believe it's like $27 at Ulta, which is a pretty pricey, but it does wonders. If you have really dark circles and don't want to do color correcting, which I don't do, very full coverage. You do not need a lot. Um, I usually, with my concealer, you know, do the triangle underneath and like with one thing, you, you know, you're, you're good on both eyes. It's honestly one of my favorite ones. Now, if you don't want to spend so much money on a concealer, even though I really think it's worth it, the Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer. I believe it's a good dupe for sharp, sharp tart shape tape. <laughs> I was about to say something really weird. <laughs> I can't even talk. I am also in the color medium. And this one um, it is really good coverage I think it does pretty much everything that the H that the sharp tart shape tape does but yes very very good Maybelline you can't go wrong with Maybelline I, I love a lot of their products and I've been using them for years once I have my concealer on I go straight into you know making sure everything's blended I go straight into my powder I use the both the Fit Me and the Makeup Revolution. Um, so, so we already talked about the Loose Fit Me. I don't use the Loose Fit Me underneath like here or like where I put my concealer. I use the ah, Makeup Revolution one in the color Banana. I actually just started using this color. I before used the Lace, which I think was great, but I had, I always wanted to try the Banana color and they both worked really good for me. So. If you're like my skin color, which I'm pretty tan, I'm pretty brown, <laughs> both will, will work good for you. So yeah, this I will actually put right underneath my eyes here and usually like right here and a little on my nose. And then the Fit Me, I will go back to this one. Pretty much kind of just like right here, right here. Um, kind of like around here because I get really oily. I get oily everywhere. Right now, that's not oil, that's highlight, so gotten bad yet. I did my makeup oh, like two hours ago. Um, so yeah, those are powders that I love. Absolutely love them. Oh, actually I will go back to prices. Um, the Fit Me is like $7 at like Walmart. And you can even get it at Ulta or Target, Walgreens. They sell it everywhere. Um, I think the cheapest place though is Walmart. I love Target too. It's dangerous going there though, you know. I freaking love Target. I will walk out with like five things when I only wanted one or I was accompanying someone. <laughs> Look at my double chin, oh my God. You know, you would think that when you contoured, you'd be like, it's not the case all the time. So now into bronzing and contour. Actually what I've been loving and um, I had the uh, Fenty Beauty, the matchsticks, and I use the color, I think it's mocha i want to say i got the trio for my sister from last christmas and they've lasted me forever but what i've recently been using just for contouring and bronzing is the butter bronzer by physicians formula we got this on sale or no i think my friend my sister's friend gave me a discount <laughs> normally it retails to like 14 15 dollars and that's like anywhere even walmart amazing it smells oh my god like it just smells so good like so tropical it does have a lot of fallout so i mean with anything you have to tap your brush and usually if i do contour with my fenty beauty six 
the matchsticks. Um, I will put that over just to, because obviously it's a cream um, contour. So I want to make sure I put like a powder so I don't get super oily. But just using that alone works amazing. Like, looks pretty good. I was, well, that's all baking. I'll do my eyes and my eyebrows. But I've been using the Kose by Mario Chikosi. Um, it's in the color, it's the Wonder Brow, filling in Julia. Literally, I this is actually a brand new one. Um, I just didn't want to show my old one. <laughs> but I think it'll last you like a good year. Do a little zoom in. They're not bad today. I've heard, you know, I've always wanted to try the Anastasia one. I've heard the Milani one is really, really good. So I think if I ever want to try something different, I will. Yes. So the spray that I've been using lately is the Milani Make It Last. Milani is one of my favorite brands. I really do love it. I love their foundation. I love their lipsticks. It's such a great, great drugstore um, brand. That, them, and NYX. NYX has really stepped it up. This one, I got it. It's the 16 hour wear and this, the Make It Last is supposed to be like, you know, for mattifying. There is a dewy one, which I would stay away from because um, my face does not need to get more dewy. It naturally does. So yes, I love that one. So I do like four sprays, four or five. My first time after I've dusted off the powder. Now my mascara. And you guys where it's from. Da -da -da -da. That was a really weird one. Let me try that again. That didn't sound right either. The Maybelline Lash Sensational Full Fan Effect. Oh my god. I think that's a bruise or a mosquito bite. I don't know. I actually woke up with like three really bad bruises on my leg. I don't think you want to see them, but they look, it's weird. They're like, I don't know, I don't know what I did. Um, but anyway, this one, I don't get it in the waterproof one. I, I can't do waterproof. I feel like it's just so hard to take off and I just I don't know I just don't I don't fuck with the waterproof ones I did use the bang it one by benefit and that one was amazing as well but this can pretty much do the same thing as two so you know why am I gonna spend so much more I mean if I have the money like okay yeah I'll do it but I go through mascara so much and I feel like it grabs all the little you know I feel like it grabs every little lash. Um, it gives it volume, it gives it, you know, dimension. It, it thickens everything. It's just, oh, this one is just so, so good. And again, Maybelline, you're doing it. What do I go into next? I feel like I look like a giant. My big ass arms, whatever. <laughs> um, oh my God, what was I? I just lost my train of thought. Okay, mascara. What do I do after mascara? Highlight, that's what I do. So I usually, um, you know, use my brush and I will either do it with my um, Mario Badesco spray or the Make It Last spray just to give it, you know, a little, like a little wet. If I want something more like yellowy golden, yellow, I will go with my Fenty. Um, I bought this as soon as it re was released. It still actually has a lot of product. I've gotten so many compliments with this um, highlighter since I've been using it. I know not every highlighter looks good on every skin tone, but I feel like on mine, it really, really enhances it. You cannot go wrong with that. And as well as her other highlighters, I've swatched them all. They're, oh, they look so pretty. I'm going back to a drugstore one, Melani. This one is actually in, it's Strobe Light Sun Glow Luminous Solaire, Sol Solaire, number three. Um, if I don't want something that's so yellowy and I just want something more that's like just a really nice golden glow. Go with that. Blush! Okay, I don't use blush that much, but I'm gonna go again back to Maybelline. Um, this is actually my mom's. <laughs> she actually got me into wearing blush, and this one, like that, is in the color 40. Peach? That doesn't look really peachy. It's more pink, right? Blush Fard uh, Juice. Um, it just says number 40, so that one is, <laughs> it's a really pretty color. I actually never wore blush. Um, I feel like 
I don't know if it's just my skin tone. I just, I never felt the need to wear blush, but I have it on right now. I don't wear it too often. So that's my mama's. But um, yeah, I have it on right now. I think it makes my cheeks look a little rosy and my hair looks like kind of like a mullet right now. So. Also, I cut my bangs by myself just recently and I, I think I really fucked it up. But no worries. I can always go to Marge Kosi or my cousin's actually a stylist as well. She cut my hair the last time and I really, really like the layers that she did. So they're up. Actually, I don't know if she wants me to say in her name on here, so I won't. Back to the blush. Really pretty color. And I think it would look really nice on a lot of skin tones. So that's just my opinion. Love this one. And I think that one was... Actually, I don't know what the price because I didn't buy it. It was my mom's. An eyeliner that I have really been liking is from NYX. And it is the NYX Professional Makeup blah, 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 Eye Pencil. I think it's just the color black. This I got at Target. Can you see? <laughs> this I got for like seven bucks. It's been working really good. Before this, I had just ran out of my NARS one. And I don't remember the price. But obviously NARS is going to be more expensive. And I was like, oh, I think I don't want to spend that much. I found this one, tried it, loved it. Why not? It's so much easier when you're actually doing it because like, I just like, I know what I'm doing, you know? I usually have a routine um, and I usually stick with it. This one, I don't remember what, how much it was. Um, this one is a lip liner. I actually have it all over my lips. I think that's nice. Um, this one is in the color. London yeah this one was probably also like seven dollars no I think it was like actually five dollars very smooth on the lips nothing too crazy um, sometimes if I want to be a little bit more flashy I love the like I said the Milani brand amazing their lipsticks these are actually matte lip cream so pretty this one is in the color devotion it smells so good. It smells like, I, think, I feel like, like if you were baking, like the, oh, it just smells so good. Like you wanna eat it, but obviously you can't. Especially right on your teeth. I get that all the time. But this one actually does not get on, on my teeth. Dun dun dun, finally. My last <laughs> of my favorite products, lashes. These are actually, have become my favorite. I've never used them before. I love the wispy effect and the look. Um, these are F actually um, uh, Morphe Hollywood Hills in black. My best friend, um, she gave me actually three pairs and I love them. I actually compare them a lot to other ones that I love. Ah, I'm dropping this. It's the Ardell Wispies. I usually get the pack. I do like them better. <laughs> um, I feel like they're a little bit more full and a little bit longer and putting the, placing them for some reason is easier than the Ardell Wispies. I know a lot of them are usually the same, but I don't know, I just, I love these. Can't go wrong. Well, with either one. The Vegas Nay Lashes, um, those are really, really pretty. They are a little bit more pricey, so for like one pair, I think it's like, it can be like 10 or $11 um, versus, I actually don't know how much the Morphe ones, because th those were a gift, but the Ardell Wispies, these, are about like eleven dollars um and you can get them at walmart or target those are basically all of my favorite favorite products and brands there's a ton more makeup brands that i haven't tried um and i switch from high end to drugstore mainly drugstore because you know i don't got that money to like i'm not a baller <laughs> but uh i really really do love these products and i i hope you would enjoy them too that concludes my video for today i will definitely try to start uploading more i think my next one definitely you know you can give me ideas that would be awesome if not cool i'll make them up on my own <laughs> uh, thank you so much for joining if you stuck through the whole thing sorry it was a little bit long um and i hope you all have a great day peace